Section 4.5, conditional probability and then complements. So we're going to start with this example again. Two red marbles, three green marbles, and four blue marbles are in a box. Suppose that you pick two different marbles. That's the way that I would say it. If you pick two different marbles, that means that you take one out and you do not give it back. You do not replace it. So if you ever see that where it would say, suppose you pick two marbles with no replacement. It means you pick a marble, you get to keep it. Which means that there are now no longer nine marbles in the box because you got one in your hand. There's only eight left. So that's an important part of no replacement. Find the probability of getting a red and then a green. So for the red one, this goes first. There's two red ones, so that's going to be two out of nine. And then means multiply. Now you go for the green. Well, there's three greens out of how many? Since we took a red one out, there's only eight marbles left. So it's going to be the first one, red, is two out of nine. Then, since we have a red one in our hand, there's only eight marbles left. And three of those are green. So then you just divide six, divided by 72, and get this lovely decimal point zero eighty three. So how does that differ from getting two reds in a row? Well, the beginning of the story is going to be the same because the first one's red, so it's going to be two out of nine. You're then holding a red one in your hand, so there's not nine marbles left, there's eight marbles left. Then this part is going to have to be how many reds are left. Well, if there were two and you're holding one in your hand, there's only one left. So in this case, the top is going to have to count down two to one and the bottom nine to eight. So that changes our answer to be 0 0.023 or 2.3%. The next definition is the conditional probability. So what this vertical line right here means is that event A, A has already occurred. So it's asking you find the probability of B given that A has already occurred. So for example, C, find the probability you get a green one, given that somebody already drew a red. So if somebody already drew a red, that means there's only eight marbles left. And since we're starting all over, there are three green ones out of eight, or 37.5%. Next, the example with gender combinations. This couple is now going to have four children. What's the probability they have at least one girl? So one way to do it is you write out all of the possible gender combinations. Here they are. So here they are having four boys. Here they are with three boys and a girl. But then the girl could be the last child, the third child, the second child, or the first. And then in here, you have to be sure you get all of the combinations where there's two boys and two girls. There's six there, etc. Then the question is asking, what's the chances they have at least one girl? Well, these, all of these, are the cases where they have at least one girl. So that's 15 out of the 16 cases. So the answer is 15 out of 16, 15 divided by 16. But we need a faster way than that. I mean, I can crank these tables out pretty fast because I've been doing this for 20 years. But if you haven't, it may take a while to make sure you get all the different gender combinations and then you've got a count, etc. So we'll do it using the variable x. So we'll let x be the number of girls, since that's what the question is asking them for. It's asking about girls. x is going to be the number of girls in the family. That. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. A little review. So the question was asking, find the probability x is at least 1. Well, if x is at least 1, that means they could have x equals 1 girl, or 2 girls, or 3 girls, or 4 girls. Which, if we're going to do a formula 4 times, or whatever the process is, 4 times, that's going to be a lot of work. Instead, we could use this. You could use the rule for complements. The probability of something 
is equal to 1 minus the probability of the opposite. Then what is the opposite of at least 1? So in other words, you don't even have at least 1. If you don't have at least 1, then you've got 0 of them. So x equals 0. x is the number of girls. So if x equals 0 girls, that means all four of their kids are boys. What are the chances of that? Well, to be a boy, there's a one-half chance. If they do that four times in a row, you raise it to the fourth. And this one minus has just been sitting there all along. Finally, you do the subtraction, and you get 15 out of 16, the same as last time. But this method can be used for a lot of different things, not just gender combinations. For example, 4% of light bulbs are defective. There's a batch of 12 that are tested. What's the probability? At least one is defective. So we're going to use the variable x again. Since the question is about defective, then we should let x be the defective ones. So we start off just the same. The probability of something is equal to 1 minus the probability of the opposite. The opposite of at least 1 means 0. Now x stands for defective. That means none of them are defective. So what's the chances none are defective? Well, if they're not defective, there's a 96% chance. Because there's a 4% chance of being defective, so there's a 96% chance of being not defective. Now, if I just left out the 96, that's only one that's not defective. Um, sorry, this is not supposed to say to the fourth. This is supposed to say to the twelfth because we've got 12 light bulbs. And so the final answer is 0.387. So this should say, this right here should say 12.